from streets frequented by locals like this one to the Las Vegas Strip where I spoke to tourists. The main thing that I kept hearing from everyone was that they are still bringing their masks around with them, but where they've been needing it really has just depended on the setting. Las Vegas strip casinos changed their rules on masks last week. Now tourists are seeing the swift pivot firsthand. None of the businesses have said anything. Even our hotel doesn't say nothing to us. And they're wearing masks, but they don't say nothing to us. This man says no one asked him to wear a mask on the Wynn casino floor. They haven't, they haven't regretted anything yet. And this family had the same experience on their trip with the exception of some smaller businesses nearby. We went down the Las Vegas Strip and a couple of stores had that you couldn't come in unless you wore the mask. So I don't remember the names. Oh, it was ABC. There was a store called ABC that did not allow us unless you had the mask on. I reached out to ABC stores for confirmation and while they've yet to get back to us, a quick visit to the store showed that appears to be true. Still, this family came ready to comply out of respect and even brought their vaccination proof in case they need to show it. I, I do have it in my wallet. You brought it with you on yes, your trip? Yes, ma'am, yes. Why'd you bring it with you? I carry it all the time. Just in case? Yes, ma'am. And others did too. They don't check it. We have our cars with us. We came traveling with them, but nobody's checking it. The honor system being widely used on the strip this weekend. 30%, yes. 30% oh. had masks. But for some Henderson locals who frequented off-strip properties this weekend, they say their experience at a few different, smaller, more localized restaurants was a mask requirement. And you've noticed they still are requiring it? Yes, they're still choosing because you can't really tell if a person's really been vaccinated or not. I don't think the restaurants and the stores are taking that chance. Of the several businesses I reached out to, most avoided sharing their policies with me about masks for customers. We'll continue looking into which businesses are keeping the requirement. Now, in my outreach, the only local business that got back to me was Cowabunga Bay, who says they are actually keeping their mask requirement. Now, the law is on the side of the company owner, of the business owner, because a company's premises are private property, so they can insist that patrons wear masks.